What is this place? Is this really the way we need to go? Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city? The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the academia alone. The Fatui under the Doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it, though? I've always felt that this Doctor is different from the Academia Sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. So, the Doctor being weird is actually normal. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. One is the desire for a Gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his. It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. I see. Tell me more about him and what he's like. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future situation. Ah, I see. How fascinating. Alright, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. to work. Let's begin. Ah. Work to put ah. ah. My name Echo and Song. Yes, and this quickly. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> time to fulfill my duty. Germinate. Let's not waste time. <laughs> you too. Stay safe.
maybe there's something wrong with the tracks. Let's try adjusting the direction of the device to clear the tracks.
see through you! Hurry up! This yeah. was well yeah. done! We've only just begun. <laughs> you need to hurry up. <laughs> Can't run. Scatter. Just be Bring a killjoy. We've yeah. only just yeah. begun. Operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion or already completed. Oh no, what should we do? Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against the Fatui Harbinger with a Gnosis. Are you nervous, Paimon? If you really want to know, of course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about what? Curious about our fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur, so it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? I remember you, Boer, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. This imposing aura, it really feels like the gods! A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! Dishing out compliments at a time like this? But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place! The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor. The god of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come! Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Insignificant pest! Feeble human! At my command, you shall fall! Significant past. Race you. Scatter. Feeble human.
insignificant pest! Significant past. <laughs> At my command, you shall you. fall. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my Gnosis from me? <sighs> we just concluded the 168th loop. Did you know that in the effort to create you, 
The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzeru's festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Tricks won't save you. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boor. I am the all-knowing god! Burn to oblivion! Let the world collide! <laughs> nice Kneel! Hey, Say cheese! <laughs> God awakens! Headline still needs a headline. Now, your eyes have been opened. Committed to memory. Kneel! Everyone hold hands!
reality is so pain! Humans, filthy humans. yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadevata. Huh? This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Shouldn't Ermensoul be in this realm of consciousness? Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadevata to be as polluted as this. Forbidden knowledge? It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. <laughs> 